Those were the days when what we call superstition wasn't just shrugged off, the superstition which still lingers today. Many a seaman would think twice of going on board a ship which has had her name changed. Which are all that was far from the minds of the men who towed the light ship, the Guillemot, into Wexford for the last time and tied her up at the quay wall here for a peaceful semi-retirement. As a museum, it's begun to flourish. Maritime objects, models, pictures and documents were donated from all quarters. And among the job lots that began to turn up was a stone, which one archaeologist claims was used in the 8th or 9th century, possibly as a lamp. On Wexford's coast, some people boast, a stone unlucky to be found. On board a boat that's bright afloat, this stone's bad luck is bound. And if you touch this rocky piece, your luck will surely change to run amok and come unstuck like measles or the mange. Janitor Bob Higginbottom, who went to sea when he was 16 and served with Irish Lights, tries not to be a superstitious man. But the strangest things have been happening since that stone went on board. Oh, I wouldn't touch it. I saw it how many incidents happened, and I wouldn't touch it. What, what, what kind of thing? Well, I saw a lady handling it, uh, and she had the paintings on exhibition up in the, one of the apartments, and uh, she went ashore that night, and she tripped over the railway lines and split her chin and hurt her leg. And another man handled it, and uh, we were getting the gangway in one night at 10 o'clock, and he fell down between the ship and the quay. And his brother had seven punctures. He's a, a lorry driver, and he had seven punctures in a week, and two on the, the man that brought it in on, on two new tires. And another man had a flood. He was called, he handled it, and he was called to his home. It was flooded. And when that was fixed up, he had a fire at four o'clock in the morning. He was called the fire brigade and the uh, chimney fires. Bob, you're very attached to the, the Guillemont. Do you feel uneasy about having it here at all? I don't. I'd sooner be taken away. I don't like it here. <laughs> what will, in fact, happen, do you think? It'll be returned to its owner, that's all. Only the man that collected it won't bring it back. <laughs> How will it get there? Who will bring it back? The lorry driver that brought it in, one of our committee, he brought it in from Kilmore. The book has been passed back to him. And he, he won't bring it back, but we compel him to bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> back to the ferry fort where it belongs. Where it belongs, yeah. But are you normally superstitious, Paul? Well, not quite. But I'm superstitious about that stone anyway. <laughs> you take this seriously? I take that seriously. Yeah. How about the other people involved? How do They're they... the same. They're just as superstitious what I am. They won't handle it. Before the accidents, did they feel this way? Oh, well, I couldn't say before the accident. But after the accidents happened, they won't touch it. Would you touch the stone again? I would, yes. It was I'd try it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Wexford is having a great giggle at the misfortunes which have dogged those who have touched the stone and the others who did nothing more than look crooked at it and shrug off its mystical powers. They laughed all the way to the boat, but some of them are now in hospital. However, we were able to round up others whose derision of the stone's powers apparently merited only minor retribution. There were terrible lot of accidents after anyone touched the stone. And even the touched it, one of them fell over there and... <laughs> Another fellow got seven or eight punctures in the car. I heard of two other uh, mishaps this morning. One concerned a visitor from Tecumption area who was in aboard the ship last week and handled the stone. He fell from a roof and is now in Wexford Hospital with uh, head and leg injuries. And uh, I also heard of a man who was aboard on Sunday afternoon and he fractured his arm.